Hi, I'm Tom McLaughlin, and I'm a Solutions Engineer for Liberty Mutual Insurance. It's my responsibility to see our developers are building production-ready applications that meet the needs of our policyholders and future policyholders as they interact with us through our web and mobile experiences. I've been an AWS customer for about eight years now, and I regularly use the following AWS services, Lambda, DynamoDB, S3, SNS, SQS, API Gateway, and more. Within Liberty Mutual's digital organization, we've begun to adopt AWS serverless technologies. We're asking our developers to learn new tools, engineering patterns, and take even greater responsibility over the application stack. And we have to equip our developers with the skills necessary to deliver production-ready applications. When we started, one of the valuable early resources we used was a virtual executive forum on training and certification. Hearing from someone of a similar size organization discuss their experiences proved valuable to us. For instance, when we set our program target KPIs, we didn't account for culture change resulting in learning taking place outside of our program. As a result, We've adjusted our existing KPIs and are now looking for additional signs of program success that are outside of our direct effort. We also came to understand the need to offer a comprehensive program that covered different learning interests and learning styles. We've developed a two-track program. One is focused on developing AWS SMEs. Those developers are on a path towards AWS certification. Our second track is an engineering excellence focused track. We take developers through the process of building an application over several sprints. It starts with architectural decision making and review, continues through the development process, and all the way into how to operate the application in production. We illustrate where their current practices remain the same and where they may differ with serverless. And importantly, we demonstrate how to adapt their existing practices. And as someone developing this material, Amazon serverless ramp up guide has proved valuable to me. It not only provides supplemental material for our developers to continue learning, but it helps me to understand what I should be working into our own material. Our engineering excellence track gives our developers the mindset, skill set, and tool set that they need to create world-class applications. Although we're still in pilot, we already see results. Our developers are excited to learn, and demand has been high. We've also found increased desire to build an AWS as we've reduced initial friction from unresolved questions that occur when adopting new tools and technologies. If you're starting your upskilling journey, then keep these things in mind. First, all of your engineers are different. They learn differently, they're starting from different levels of experience, and they want to learn different things. Meet them where they are at, and provide options so that individuals can find what works best for them. Also, make sure engineers have time to learn. Our developers have professional development time, and we scope our learning modules so that they fit within that time each sprint. Finally, this is a long-term effort. Success doesn't happen overnight, and tomorrow's technologies won't necessarily be what we're learning today. What's next for me? Well, it's gathering feedback from our current participants and data to understand what works so that we can improve our program as we scale it within digital and then across the rest of Liberty Mutual. Expanding learning paths to other jobs, such as product owners, is on our roadmap. The more all the members of a team understand cloud and AWS, the more effectively they can build solutions. Thank you for watching and good luck on your serverless adoption and learning journey.